Hello everyone, this is Chidanan from Crux Info Tech NG. Welcome to this tutorial on GitHub webhook integration with Jenkins. For anyone who's aware of the continuous integration process, there are times when based upon an event that would occur in the source code version control repository, an event will have to be passed on to multiple subsystems who are interested in listening to this event and possibly triggering a build or a workflow. So in this case, what I want to demonstrate is how to set up first a Jenkins job, which would listen to one of my GitHub repositories and later on integrate the version control tool in such a way that based upon some events that uh, Jenkins is interested in, it is going to fire me real-time events, um, something called as a webhook, which is nothing but a small as asynchronous lightweight callback mechanism with a payload, which will contain lots and lots of information about what actually happened on the version control tool. What I plan to do first is, first put up a very, very simple GitHub repository. And um, I'm not complicated by putting up uh, you know, any programming language specific code here, a simple uh, text files, and then come back to my Jenkins and uh, put up a simple freestyle job, which will pull the source code from that particular uh, repository and possibly print some information about the last commit that uh, possibly uh, happened to the source code. Later, I will configure a trigger for my Jenkins job. And the trigger would be a web hook that will be received by my Jenkins from GitHub. And I'll come back to GitHub and then put up a configuration saying, what events am I interested in for this particular repository? And what should be the callback URL? The URL of Jenkins, which needs to be notified once the changes happen to the GitHub repository. Right, let me go to my GitHub URL and uh, create a new repository. I will call it YouTube uh, hook demo. All right, a public repository. Um, let me add a readme file. And um, I think uh, the default would be the main branch, which is all right. All right, so this is my simple repository which will pull or rather which has got main as the default branch now let me go back to my jenkins add a new job i will call it uh, webhook okay demo job uh, make it a freestyle project and uh, pick up the url for this github repository it's a public repository so i do not have to specify any user credential so this would be my git job which will refer to this github repository which is a public repository and uh, master would be incorrect it will be the main branch and uh, what to do on this job it will be a simple thing i will execute a simple windows batch command i will just possibly type in um, echo the commit or rather the git commit which triggered this job some printf kind of a statements and uh, i'll fire this git command git log hyphen one had uh, one line all that this command would do is tell you the last commit or the information about the last commit okay so let me just save this job and uh, let me kind of run this once just to check if uh, you know nothing is wrong with the job all right and uh, if you see here um, git log online okay 9510 initial commit if i come back to my github repository and take a look at the last commit yeah 951 um, whatever number uh, hash code that you see now this job for now 
is a simple uh, standalone kind of a job. Let me configure this to listen to a webhook. So a trigger, a trigger for this job would be uh, GitHub hook. Okay, so this is a small configuration that I will have to modify. Okay, so pulling is, you know, you specify a timeline by when you would want Jenkins to approach the GitHub repository and check for updates. Uh, we do not want that. We want an automated real-time trigger. All right, so this is all that has to be done to ensure that the job that you're putting up on GitHub, sorry, the job that you're putting up on Jenkins has got a trigger and this trigger is an asynchronous trigger which will come from github repository so let me just save this so i've done the changes with regard to the job i've done as job and i also put up the uh, webhook trigger for my job now i'll have to somehow make my jenkins be available to the github which is running on the public cloud my Jenkins is running locally, so there is no way that uh, the GitHub on the cloud can reach out to my local Jenkins. So I will just use a very, very small tool which will open up my Jenkins server to the outside world, make it accessible to anyone who has, you know, a potential uh, fully qualified domain name or a URL using which they can reach to my Jenkins. So once I expose my Jenkins, using a public url my github repository would be able to reach that i would then go ahead configuring the webhook url i will use a small tool called ngrok -OK. all right so this is a pretty good tool that um, you know trainers like me would normally use uh, so that uh, we can expose our local traffic not recommended to be used by anyone uh, well within your enterprise uh, uh, environment all right so let me open up i already have this e executable stored in one of my folder all right so i will trigger off this ngr okay and uh, i will expose 8080 which is where my jenkins server is running all right so as long as i have this small batch file running uh, anybody who's going to hit this particular url from any anywhere they would be able to reach my Jenkins server so this is the public URL of my Jenkins server now I have to go to my github repository and configure the URL where the notification has to be sent out so if at all I come to the um, setting section of my repository because this is a very very specific repository or a repository specific setting you can come down to the uh, webhooks all right so add a webhook all right so now this is where things get a little complicated i will have to open up my all right okay so this is just a two-factor authentication so the url is very important to pass along the actual url of our jenkins so my jenkins url is what i've copied here now if you're on the same network uh, you don't really have to do all this part your jenkins would be reachable using a fully qualified domain name or an ip address from your github server all right so this is the url of my jenkins forward slash github hyphen web okay so mind you i'm using the default webhook that is provided by uh, github on top of that uh, jenkins also has got a bunch of other plugins for webhook okay if at all you go to uh, plugins jenkins and search for webhook you will find you know a generic webhook trigger which can potentially uh, gather all the information that is present in the payload as well okay i'm not using any one of them i'm using the default one that is provided uh, by jenkins or used up by jenkins and the functionality of a webhook uh, in this case it's all provided by 
uh, GitHub free of cost. All right. So this is a small utility that is provided by GitHub free of cost, the notification service. So all that I need to do is only this. And now I'll have to, you know, either I can select all the events that I would be interested where, you know, uh, the notification has to be sent out or for this demo, let me say, send me everything. All right. And I will add the webhook. So once I add the webhook, you'll notice that um, suddenly you will find a kind of a missed call or an invocation that will happen from GitHub just to verify whether the hook URL that I've provided is correct or not. So this is a real, I mean, the, the URL is exactly uh, how I've denoted. You can take a look at this uh, reference documentation, uh, GitHub web hyphen webhook forward slash. If you miss anything out here, the webhook would not uh, be successfully delivered. All right, so I'll say add the webhook. And if you notice here, you will get one webhook invocation just to verify if everything is all right. And if at all I refresh the button, you will see here a small tick that says, you know what, good webhook. Okay, a good uh, webhook. This is all that has to be done. All right, so now we are all set to verify whether as soon as any changes happen to the GitHub repository, a hook notifies all the interested parties, in this case only Jenkins, about the changes that happen. And since we have put up a trigger for our job, it should automatically trigger off our uh, job. As of now, I have only job number one that is uh, run. So automatically job number two would be kicked off and uh, this would happen once there is some code change that happens in the GitHub repository. So let me just go and simulate a check-in by going to this repository and, uh, you know, modifying something. Okay, I just put some text here. And maybe I'll put out a nice uh, message when I commit the changes. I would just say trying to trigger Jenkins job using webhook. Now this is the commit message. Hopefully uh, this message is what I should see well within my job. Okay, commit directly to the main branch. Okay, sounds good. So once we see that automatically you will notice one more webhook that has come. And if I go to my Jenkins job, you should find control R. Uh, you will find, I mean, this was too fast. Uh, ideally, if my job was doing a lot of things, so naturally you'll find the uh, delay, uh, but since it was uh, too fast, all right, the output that uh, was the commit message, uh, along with all the information about that particular commit, trying to trigger a Jenkins using webhook. If anybody is interested in finding out what exactly were the contents of the webhook that got delivered, you can just go to your repository, go to the settings section and come to our webhook. And um, there's an edit. All right. And take a look at the recent deliveries. OK, now this will have a timestamp. And this was the first one. This was kind of an empty uh, ping, as it says. The second one was the hook that uh, was delivered, which contains all information about the event that occurred on which particular repository, what is the changes and uh, you know, you take a look at it, it's a complete payload that has got uh, lots and lots of information, which is understood by Jenkins and uh, anyone or any job that has got this as a kind of a trigger for those job, they will all be woken up. I hope you like the demo and uh, webhook is a mechanism by which um, not just uh, git and jenkins a lot of other subsystems uh, can talk to each other if you look through some of my previous uh, videos i've shown you how to integrate um, let's say big bucket with uh, jenkins also how to integrate a tool called sonar cube which does a quality analysis the output of a particular um, quality gate that is put up on sonar cube can also be passed back to Jenkins using webhook. Again, the mechanism is pretty simple. How do you connect it? And uh, what is the exact URL that you specify is all that matters.
all right thanks a lot for stopping and uh, watching my video in case uh, you try this out and run into any issues kindly post your comments and uh, hopefully i should be able to resolve it thank you so much and uh, you guys have a great day